Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Making the Album. So this is the short series where in every episode I'm gonna show you how I record a song and then once we have 13 episodes done, I'm gonna release an album containing all those songs. In this one, I've got a song called Oka. So let's just get into it. All right, as per usual, I have my makeshift drum kit here, a tom drum, a snare, and a hi-hat. And I'm using the tom with this little cloth and I'm hitting it with a kick drum mallet and I'm using it effectively as a kick drum. So let's start recording that. Next, let's record the snare and I'm gonna drape some of the fabric on the snare as well, just to dampen it a little bit. I'm gonna do one with the brushes. And then one with the snare engaged. And maybe one with the stick side as well. All right, let's record the hi-hats. So then all the drums together sound like this now. The other thing I'm gonna do a bit different in this one is I'm gonna record uh, the kick and snare using these two mics here kind of far apart from the drum just to give it like a far away ambient room. Maybe pandos left and right. We're gonna do the same thing but with claps with these two mics here. So I'm gonna duplicate that and do another set of claps. And I'm gonna do the same thing but with snaps this time. All right, it's time to record the guitar. So I've got my Seagull S6, which I'm recording with the Octava MK12. All right, start off with the intro. I'm gonna double up the guitar parts uh, using a pick this time just to give it a little more contrast. For the second verse, I'm gonna add this little uh, finger picking lick. All right, so I've got a Fender P bass hooked up, so I'm just gonna lay down some bass parts. I'm just plugging it directly into my interface and I just have the auto filter on MS-20 mode with a bit of drive. Check one, see. All right, it's finally time to record the vocals since now we have a nice bed to work with. So I'm gonna duplicate the vocals an octave higher just to give it an interesting effect. And 
I'm gonna duplicate it again, but this time in the same octave as the first one. We listen to our mother's stories. it's time to lay down some synth tracks. So for this one, I brought out the Roland SH-101, which is a classic synth from the 80s. And I have a fairly simple patch, a bit of noise, filter fairly closed, and then I'm adding a bunch of Valhalla Room and Valhalla Delay. I can bring it down. Lovely sounding synthesizer. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some parts around like melodies, maybe some bass lines and stuff like that. The way I like to approach this kind of stuff is it's fairly improvisation based. I find that when I write, I try to write out the melodies too much ahead of time, they start to sound too kind of artificial. So I actually leave the synth writing process to the recording process. And as I'm listening to it, I try not to play it with my hands. I try to hear the melody in my head first because I find that my hands tend to go to things that they're familiar with, like the muscle memory in the hands gets in the way. Let's see if we can maybe duplicate that with a harmony. Alright, I'm gonna record a second part an octave lower. Alright, let's record a similar riff uh, in between the chorus and the verse. record the solo towards the end there. I like to do with mono synths is multi-track them to create chords or to create like a polyphonic synth out of it because I find it gives a very unique flavor compared to playing it on a poly synth because your notes you can tweak the notes individually between the chords to give them a slightly different flavor but also the timing is slightly off between the notes so it gives it a more organic and polyphonic sound. Every time I think about it I'm just gonna record some subtle kashishi here. Every time I think about it, I just get All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm gonna spend some time off camera EQing it and making it a little bit better. So yeah, I'm gonna play a preview of the song at the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified when another video comes up because I have a few more of these songs to go before we release the album. And follow me on Spotify. Again, my artist name is Coat Seller, all one word. And I'll definitely let you guys know when the album is live. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next.
Robinsons and their